Strengthening Nevis's social safety nets will be a major priority for the Nevis Island administration, said Premier Mark Brantley. In his 27th January press conference at the office of the Premier, Brantley indicated that the COVID-19 pandemic has caused an increase in mental health cases on the island. He said it was important to help care for such persons and has already reached out for assistance. Um, let's face it, COVID has had a devastating impact on lives and livelihoods. Because some people, even though they haven't lost their life, they have lost their livelihood and that has impacted the quality of life that they've had. And some people, of course, have suffered. Some people who were living already on the margins are now without a job, their families are struggling. And so we need to ensure that we have an adequate safety net in place for those members of the community. In fact, it was just yesterday that I engaged, I'm sorry, forgive me, not yesterday, but on Tuesday, that I engaged with um, the High Commissioner Sherry Truss, our High Commissioner in Canada, and um, a Senator Kucha there in Canada about the provision of, health, of, of mental health care to our people. Um, I was quite surprised uh, to learn that in 2020, we had an additional 36 persons added to our mental health register. And in th 2021, we had an additional 36 again. So over the two years, we had 72 persons presenting themselves, new individuals seeking mental health care. And I believe that is a direct result of the pressures that COVID-19 brought on us in terms of people's lives and livelihoods. And so we have to ensure that we take care of our people. We have to ensure that we have the necessary safety nets. And so you will find that a lot of what we're going to do is going to be skewed towards ensuring that our people are protected as much as we can in the circumstances. So that has to be a priority for us this year as we try to build back better, as we're saying, as we try to work our way out of the COVID-19 pandemic. We can't leave our people behind. We have to bring them along with us. According to the Premier, the NIA's 2022 budget included only the most essential items as the island continues on its road to recovery. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.